the Rays indeed among the most active teams here at the general manager's meetings. Joel, which other team do you have your eye on this week? Well, I think the Giants, because I think they're the big player for Judge if he's not going to stay with the Yankees. But they have a lot of needs. They bled a lot in attendance. They want to get back where they have a strong team and they're, you know, with stars. And I think they're trying to get away from, like, Posey left last year, Posey, Belt, Crawford, Longoria, and get to whatever the next Giant team is. So they have a lot of work to do. Yeah, I'm with Joel. The Giants are going to be very active. I'm going to say the Cubs. I, I think they're going to look at the big shortstops, and there's some outstanding shortstops on this market, as we know, with Correa, Turner, Bogertz, and Swanson. They played well the last couple of months under David Ross, so did a nice job there. Nico Horner is one of their best players, but he could easily slide over to second base. John, I'll ask you first on the trade market. Is there one player in particular about whom you're hearing a lot this week? Well, you know, I do think that teams are asking about Lucas Giolito had kind of a down year last year, so that would be my one pick. I do think the Brewers are going to be active in the trade market. The owner, Mark Adnazio, had mentioned that they may do some stuff to shake things up a bit, so I think some of their players could be out there, perhaps Hunter Renfro. Uh, you know, you hear even bigger names, but I, I'm reluctant to say them because I just can't imagine them trading some of those huge stars, but Colton Wong, they just picked up the option, I think he may get dealt as well. Yeah, I think that uh, you're going to see the Yankees are going to try to move a middle infielder. The least would be kind of Falefa, Isaiah kind of Falefa. You know, maybe he gets non-tended. But I think Gleyber Torres is out there. Remember, they came somewhat close with Miami in a trade for Pablo Lopez, who I think is all out there as well. I think those two are very much out there. Miami trying to get offense. The Yankees probably trying to get pitching with uh, Torres. And Joel, also in the American League East, I do believe Teoscar Hernandez in Toronto could be on the move. That's a big time power bat. And Joel, we talk about free agents. Among the big names right now, which one do you think will sign first? Yeah, I, I actually think, and this will probably be by the time this airs, somebody will sign. But I think it's a slow moving market. I think the winter meetings are going to be crazy. But I, if I were just guessing, and I want to be honest that it's a guess, one of the shortstops breaks early and sets the market. I'll say Dansby Swanson. That's what I was going to say. I, we know that he's already started talking. The Braves wanted to bring him back. He is from Georgia. They made an offer in midseason somewhere in the ballpark of $100 million. Obviously, that's a bit light. They're probably hoping for a home down discount. I did hear that he did counter that offer. So I do think that he would like to stay in Atlanta if he can. But he certainly will have a huge market. He's upped his game both offensively and defensively, so I expect him to do much better than that. I'm not sure anyone's going to sign quick among the biggest stars, but that'd be my pick. It's a great call, John. I do believe of the big four shortstops, Swanson probably the most likely to stay with his current team. My pick would be Brandon Nimmo. I, I do think Nimmo's market will solidify before the big man on the outfield market, Aaron Judge.